Hello everyone and welcome to this video which is in our great engine opening series. I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler and we're continuing our look at the modern um, but this time instead of the A6 systems that we looked at in the last video it's going to be C6 systems. <clears throat> C6 systems very very common in both the modern and the Piets and generally reckon to be uh, yeah, the most solid way of playing for black. Um, C6 has got a lot of points it uh, supports b5 expanding on the um, on the queen side uh, preparing b4 uh, undermining the knight on c3 it can support uh, d5 breaking the center um, it also makes e5 a little bit easier because it's covering the d5 square so you know after d takes c5 d takes c5 why well, it doesn't get to put a knight on um, on d5 what it also does is it sort of um, holds the d5 square for black. So if you play the move knight f6 and white plays the move e4 to e5, then the knight can move to, um, to d5 without any problems. Or if the knight has to move away, then white can't exploit uh, or occupy the d5 square with the pieces because we're covering it with the c6 pawn. Um, what it also does, it uh, gives some space for the black queen, it can maybe come to c7, support e5, um, or come out to b6 or a5, for example. So plenty of um, of moves there, you know, and uh, and there's a, probably a few other little points as, uh, as well. Um, what can white do in this position? There's many different moves. What uh, I was struck by was uh, Stockfish's favourite move, which in this position is to play the move f4. And uh, why do I like this move? Well, the idea is that it's trying to exploit the fact that black has not played a piets. Black hasn't played the knight to f6. If you play f4 with a knight on f6, black can go knight g4, and it's a little bit awkward for the bishop on e3. Here, the knight hasn't come to f6, so you just play f4. You don't even need the move h3 to, uh, to cover it. Um, not amazingly well known, I think, this line, but, um, but definitely um, um, a very good white alternative, I think. So what can uh, black do in this position? Well, one thing that I was thinking of was to play uh, d5 in this position. Okay, you've wasted a move, you've played uh, d6 to d5. But yeah, you know, the idea really of the c6 system is to play d5 when white plays f4 and try and punch light square holes in that center. So black plays e5 and then we go h5. And um, I'm simply going to try and organize my pieces on the light squares. So um, knight f3, I go bishop f5, h3, e6, um, bishop b2. And now, yeah, you know, uh, the move that the engines wanted and pretty common in this line is to play bishop f8. Now I've got a blog article explaining a lot about these uh, c6, d5 systems and all the subtleties that black plays uh, uh, to try and get an optimal version of them. But you know this is not so terribly bad for uh, for black. You go knight d7, you go bishop b7, you try and uh, play a6, b5 maybe, or you try and play c5. Um, it's um, better for, for white, but yeah not always easy positions to play for white and uh, yeah certainly the engines making plenty of draws as uh, as black so d5 not completely stupid and um, probably not a bad idea against uh, an all-out attacking player who just gets you know bogged down in the mire of your um, of your tough uh, um, pawn structure there um, yeah if you go b5 uh, this was dragon's first choice actually um, a3 and then a5 is possible. So dragon um, just uh, going to try and uh, defend this rook on a8. Bishop b7 is the, the most normal thing. And then going to try and play a quick b4. What really struck me here, and I'm sure it will strike you too, is um, um, again Stockfish kind of exploiting the fact that um, black hasn't developed this knight to f6 just in order to grab huge amounts of space on the king's side. So g4 simply. And after bishop b7, then g5, actually just stopping this knight from uh, from coming to f6. And after e6, Stockfish just played h4 and h5. And um, yeah, when the engines did this in the good old days, you sort of said, huh, stupid engine. And then somehow you'd beat them because they missed a tactic. But yeah, I mean, these plans are very dangerous. If you don't miss a tactic, and I, well, Stockfish, he could be pretty sure he's not going to miss a tactic, then these things can be very, very dangerous indeed for um, for black. And uh, yeah, this turned out quite badly for um, uh, for uh, for black in uh, in the game. So this was quite a nice uh, little game. This is uh, Stockfish against Dragon. 
knight f3 b4 knight e2 played the knight comes around to g3 and then we've got queen d2 with a possible queen h2 coming out I mean, it's just really uh, really really dangerous this so that was um, also quite interesting um knight d7 is um is possible sort of a flexible uh, sort of move um the idea actually is that black probably maybe wants to play b5 but actually kind of wants to play c6 to c5 it's one of those typical things um i've explained it before a lot in the samish king's indian that you play f3 early on in order to hold your center but that doesn't stop you from playing f4 later you know and uh, this is very much it you played c6 and that's had some benefits it doesn't mean that you can't play c5 later um, but after knight f3, knight f6, then um, um, what the engines wanted to do here was to play the move e5. It's a little bit awkward for uh, for black. If you go knight d5, I just take, take, and bishop d3, and actually this knight is, is just all wrong on d7. It doesn't belong on d7, it belongs on c6. So actually what the engines want to do is to play knight b8. But you can imagine this is not really what you should be doing. Um, the best line for the engines was to go knight g4 and castles, but... Yeah, it's it's a little bit ropey for black. This knight is uh, not great. White can uh, you know can play queen e two and castle queenside and g four or something like that. You know it's uh, um, it's not a nice position for um, for uh, for black particularly. I certainly wouldn't want to play it. So actually, interestingly enough, and we've talked about this a few times in the videos, uh, black's best uh, attempt is to try and get back directly into a piers with knight f six. And you're just sort of threatening, uh, you know, knight g4 at some stage, and um, and also just, uh, you know, looking at that pawn on e4. So white plays um, um, knight f3, and then we go castles. And now, um, uh, yeah, what is white going to do here? Well, if you go um, bishop d3, now uh, the engines play knight bd7. If you go e5, we'll go uh, knight g4, and then hit back quickly with c5. And um, um, if you play a move like, uh, for example, h3 to cover g4, then black strikes back in the center with c5. And, uh, well, I mean, there's plenty of, um, uh, plenty of stuff there in the associated PGNs, but basically this is working out okay for black. You know, even though you've wasted a tempo on c5, it's not too bad. Um, actually, what the, the, um, the move order the engines go for is they play h3 first, and after knight bd7, they go knight f3. And now after castles, not bishop d3 when um, when c5 is played, but the engines are striking straight away with e5. Um, so we've got knight d5 takes takes bishop d3. Now, obviously, I said that the knight was not great on uh, on d7 here, but the one thing is that in this line, by by having this idea of going knight g4, you've actually got h3 in, and black's extra move has been castles. So, you know. Yeah, it's conceivable that this is a, a little bit better for black than the, the line where white hasn't played h3. And uh, yeah, actually uh, the engines were, were trying with some pretty concrete play to try and make something of it here. So queen b6, um, what are we aiming for? Well, the idea is if castles, then uh, we can simply take on e5. We've got this nasty pin here. So takes, I can just play knight takes e5. So uh, queen d2 was the reply. You're not too worried about queen b2. You'll just go castle kingside and then start launching an attack with f5 or something. So d takes c5, f takes c5, and now the move f6 from uh, from black. So you're basically, you know, trying to... Um... Oh, good lord, an alarm going off there. <laughs> Actually, it's... Uh... I've got to put some um, some little treats in the fridge for my nephew when he comes to uh, to visit tomorrow. So I'll do that after this video. Um, so I was wondering what was happening. My watch was uh, buzzing. My uh, my phone was buzzing. Very important though. So um, after f6, attacking that um, uh, that pawn on e5, um, white goes uh, castles. F e5 takes and queen c7. And, yeah, I don't know. I mean, um, this um, uh, the engines are sort of saying, well, this is vaguely acceptable, you know, for black. You will be able to try and create some counterplay with bishop a4. But it's the sort of um, position, you know, you feel really where this can go horribly wrong for black. I mean, if you, uh, you know, the engines can keep it going and play accurately. But, you know, this bishop, these weaknesses, 
this lovely knight coming into d4 you know it's it's really um it's really not very nice i mean this was what uh, the engines uh, made of it in terms of best play this is stockfish against uh, komodo dragon bishop coming to e8 knight d4 bishop d7 rook e1 queen c3 takes takes uh, and then the move knight f3 played you go rook d3 chase the rook away and then knight d4 and yeah you know i mean okay black's just nastily uh, worse here and uh, the engines will hold it but black will not have a good time so i mean actually you know looking at it um you know objectively maybe you know black's sort of doing okay in this position ish but um i would say that um you know this f4 idea against c6 looks pretty powerful and to be honest i would prefer if i was going to choose a line rather than knight f6 and going into this i'd much rather play this line e5 h5 you know and uh, and go into um into one of these typical um gurganids type uh, type systems and as i said there's a there's a blog entry on my blog that uh, that looks at that an awful lot so um yeah there we are just a, a short little video about this system but i, I do think that um this move bishop e3 against the um uh, against the, the modern is uh, is very challenging uh, and just in in interesting ways as c6 we're playing this move f4 going back to an aggressive f4 system and against a6 we've got this uh, innocuous looking but quite venomous move where uh, you know b5 uh, is met by h4 with a very big initiative for white so you know from that point of view black's got to be quite careful and go back to the to the piets and um and play this move um uh, knight f6 and try and uh, hold with it and uh, well i'll um, i'll maybe do a, a video on uh, on this in any case uh, there's lots of lines in the uh, associated pgn here so um that's uh, that's it for uh, for this video hope you're uh, enjoying this look at uh, at the modern and getting a grip now of the differences between uh, the modern and the peats and uh, how you should use them do take a look at my blog because uh, it's got a lot of this stuff but um, yeah you know written down slightly simplified so uh, yeah just um, I, I find that um, I always do that for myself you know I try and have a one uh, PGN with a lot of detailed stuff and then also try and explain it in a, a bit of a higher level for myself so uh, well it's all out there on uh, on uh, on my website and on this YouTube channel so do take a look at that and otherwise you know thanks very much for watching and hope to see you at the next videos thanks for watching